Welcome to another Cream Rises Up show. Integrated circuits or chips, since their inception in the 1960s are becoming ubiquitous in terms of driving the entire world economy and shaping our lifestyle. Currently, it is almost inconceivable to think this world without a semiconductor-driven machine doing anything from wiping our floors to launching a satellite. At the heart of all of these is the East Asian company from Taiwan called TSMC, or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. In today's episode, I will briefly delve into the history and the rise of this astounding company that is responsible for making the innards of the latest iPhones, iPads, and M1 MacBook Pros. In terms of sales revenue, TSMC is the third largest semiconductor production company in the world, after Samsung and Intel. It's not far-fetched to say that TSMC is one of the success stories came out from East Asia, despite the huge competition from other mega multinational companies such as Intel and Samsung which design and fabricate in-house chips. It is one of the largest companies in Taiwan and became the first Taiwanese company to be listed at the New York Stock Exchange in 1997. As of 2019, TSMC has registered a total asset worth 81.2 billion US dollars, and in 2020, it has recorded 18.5 billion US dollars net income and employs up to 56,831 people in total. Additionally, it has subsidiaries located in Shanghai, Washington, and Singapore. Founded in 1987 by Morris Chong, TSMC is the world-first dedicated semiconductor foundry company and leading this market segment since its beginning. When I say foundry, it means that TSMC only fabricate chips that are designed by customer companies. Chip-making facilities, or popularly known as fabs or manufacturing plants used by these mega-chip makers such as TSMC and Intel. Currently, big multinational companies such as Apple, AMD, Arm, Broadcom, Marvel, MediaTek, and Nvidia, are among the customers that TSMC has in its portfolio. These client companies design their own chips and contract TSMC for fabrication. Even Intel, one of TSMC's biggest rival in the semiconductor business outsources some of its production from its Taiwanese counterpart. As per the 2020 data, TSMC produces about 13,300mm equivalent wafers, or slice of semiconductors per year, and makes chips that ranges from 90 nanometers up to 5 nanometers. Moreover, TSMC was the first semiconductor production company that introduced the 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers chips which was used on the Apple A14 and M1 SoC or system on a chip. Alongside the introduction of the 7 nanometers chips, in 2019, TSMC also announced what it called industry's first commercially available volume production using the extreme ultraviolet lithography technology. Bear in mind that this technology was not new and companies like Samsung used it to produce 5 nanometers chips, but TSMC was the first to reach volume production using this method. The fairy tale story of TSMC started when its founder Dr. Morris Chong joined the Taiwanese non-profit research institute called Industrial Technology Research Institute in 1986 as the president and chairman, and then used this platform to establish the very first semiconductor fabrication plant of TSMC on the campus. Dr. Morris Chong got his bachelor and master's degree from the well-known Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1952 and 1953 respectively before working at Texas Instruments for 25 years in different capacity. While he was working in Texas Instruments, he also acquired his PhD from Stanford University. The years that Dr. Morris Chong spent on working the design and fabrication of advanced semiconductors at Texas Instruments and other chip makers were pivotal in starting TSMC. As of October 2021, Dr. Morris Chong net worth is estimated up to 2.8 billion US dollars. As technology progresses, chips are getting smaller and smaller. This allows devices that use this tiny silicons to become more power efficient and more powerful as a result of packing as many transistors as possible in a single chip. The introduction of 5 nanometers promise better power efficiency and faster performance, and just generally pushing CPU technology forward. In 2020, TSMC and Samsung announced volume production of 5 nanometers semiconductor. This opened a huge opportunity for the likes of Apple, Qualcomm and Huawei, who are customers of TSMC, in their pursuit of a highly efficient and powerful devices that are intended for the consumer market. The iPhone 12 and the Huawei Mate 40, 
are the first to be shipped with TSMC's 5 nanometers chips. Moreover, the highly anticipated, in-house designed Apple M1 system on a chip that graced the new generation of Apple MacBook Pros also the result of these 5 nanometers silicons. As I alluded to above, these new tiny semiconductors are all about packing as much transistors as possible within a smaller footprint in order to drastically increase the performance while keeping the power consumption lower than before. For instance, the recently announced Apple in-house M1 Max chip, which is also based on TSMC's 5 nanometers wafers, packs as much as 57 billion transistors in a single microchip. Despite all its recent success, TSMC is not resting on its laurels. In 2019, the company has announced that it will commercialize 3 nanometer semiconductor for the year 2022. This N3 technology will be expected to provide up to 10 to 15% boost in performance and 20 to 30% reduced power consumption compared to the 5 nanometers chips. The chip production market is a highly competitive one for TSMC. In order to remain competitive and beat its direct rivals Intel and Samsung, TSMC has recently announced that it will open a fabrication plant in Arizona, USA and plans to spend up to 12 billion US dollars for this purpose. In terms of future endeavors, the R&D segment of TSMC is working on specialized system-on-a-chip technology consisting of microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, non-volatile memory, NVM, RF and analog transistors. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. While you at it, like and share our videos also. Your support is massively appreciated. Thanks and cheers.